Amy Walker tribe would be the first to travel in a Thule boat on the San Francisco Bay. I'm a bread and basket made of willow. I wonder what I'm going to carry. I am a cozy culture. I wonder if Miwoks will rest in me. I am a Thule canoe. I wonder why there are no holes in me. I hear fish swimming in the clean water. I am a necklace made of shells. I wonder if Miwoks think I'm beautiful. I am a white fluffy rabbit. I wonder if Miwoks will roast me for dinner under a fire. I am a hunter, strong and fast. I wonder if I'll get faster. I hear the wind rushing by me. I am a bow and arrow, sharp and strong, made of wood and stone. I wonder what it would be like to be in battle or pierce a deer. I touch the clouds when I am shot in the air. I worry when I miss the target. I cry when I hit an animal. I am a bow and arrow. I am a Spanish flag on Cortez's ship representing my country. I feel the breeze against my sails. I am a compass hoping to guide courageous explorers to new land, gold, God, and glory. I am a gold coin listening to explorers digging with shovels hoping to find me. I am an anchor letting go of the bottom of Drake's Bay as my ship sets sail. I may must get standing tall and proud, wondering what other battles I might face exploring new lands. I am a pointy cutlass looking at pirates fight over money. I am the San Carlos. I worry that we will sink. I dream for land. I am Juan Manuel de Ayala. I hear captains yelling. I see ships sailing. I am Mission Dolores. I feel soil below me. I cry about the Miwok. I understand life is hard here. I am a Miwok. I see ships in the bay. I want to know what the Europeans want. I am a tall ship and I see fish. I am a little willow. I see a tall ship passing by. I touch the two lay boats on shore. I am an otter. I wonder who the people are in the boats. I hope the Europeans and the Miwoks share the land. I am Don Jose de Canizares. I see deer, oak, bears, sea lions, seals, and otter on land. I want to cut the trees. This ship is able to travel anywhere around the world. The boat that we're building is very similar to a boat that used to run lumber all the way to Tahiti, used to sail everywhere, and then later in life it literally sailed around the world three or four times. It's named after a man that built a ship that's lost now and they're trying to rebuild it, like rebuilding history. It's historic for Sausalito and San Francisco. They're bringing back history through boats. I think this is important because we should keep on building old-fashioned boats. So we're going to use all this lumber up and we'll bring in two more loads just about like it before the ship is completely done. It surprised me that it will take two years to build the tall ship. You've got to take that off by hand to get a nice clean even surface so when the two pieces go together with the glue they stick. So you glue them together and they end up almost as strong as they started out beforehand. Why would you do that? You would do that if you needed to scarf two shorter pieces together to make a long one. What surprises me the most about the project is how we got to film the story when the boat was being made. I like going down to the top ship area so I can see the workers working. At the top ship site, they taught us how to tie knots for the boats. It surprised me about the size of the keel and how many people it takes to move it and cut it. The thing that surprises me the most about the project is that how big the boat's going to be in real life. At the tall ship site, we measured the keel. 18, 19, 20, 21. I was surprised how long the keel was at the tall ship site. When we 
take this big piece of lumber and we put the lead down below it, the lead's gonna be the heaviest part. So it'll keep the boat sitting upright. I learned boats aren't just wood. My favorite part was going down to the tall ship and seeing their progress. I like that it is a creative way to learn about history of the bay and the tall ship. My favorite part about going there is when we got to draw pictures of what the tall ship might look like and we got to write down blessings too. We're gonna make a special place on the educational tall ship for all the well wishes that now a thousand people have sent us. So the next piece of wood that goes up on top of this part of the keel will have a little compartment that we build into it that'll be waterproof and we'll be able to put all the well wishes and all the blessings and all the prayers that everybody have written out and, and brought to us. We hope this boat will be sailing and working and teaching for a hundred years. I think it's important to learn about ships in our maritime community. That's why we're here today. We're gonna to bless the keel. This is the official keel lane. This date will go on the COI, that is our certificate of inspection that the Coast Guard has on board the vessel when it's legal for us to take passengers out on it. The addition of the Matthew Turner to that stable of boats will allow us to get out another 12,000 kids a year to learn about the sea. I hope it lasts at, for at least five centuries. <laughs> Dear Matthew Turner Tall Ship Crew, I wish the ship has many prosperous voyages, safe travels, and I hope I will get to sail on the on the ship someday. Sincerely, Samuel London Anderson. I am Fred Filder and a sailor and the owner of the first brick building. I say giddy up horsey. I try to keep the community safe. I'm Fred Fielder, a kind merchant. I hear customers shopping in my general store for things they need. I am William A. Coulter, a sailor and an artist. When I am sailing, I see my paintings dancing in the moonlight. I am Julia Morgan, an architect. I wonder how many buildings I can design. I am Julia Morgan, smart and creative. I want to be the most famous architect in the world. I am L. Sutton Wood, an artist and newspaper designer. I pretend to be a character in my cartoons. I am Myron Spalding, a boat builder and sailor. I hope to win the trans packed race to Hawaii and a trophy. I am a Sausalito resident. I am catching the ferry to San Francisco so I can shop for a new dress and hat. I am a Liberty ship. I hear my engines run. I feel cold water splashing. I am a ship designer. I hope to draw plans for sturdy ships that will help us win the war. I am maroon ship, building a boat a week. I hear the clink of hammers. I try to build boats as fast as I can. I hope to win World War II. I am a marine ship worker. I wonder why women can't fight. I understand that history goes on. I am a painter for the Liberty Ship. I see people working hard on the boats. I pretend that I'm swimming in a big pocket of light gray paint. I'm a marine ship artist. I paint the beautiful designs and portraits on the bows of the warships to raise the spirit of the soldiers. I am a busy and skilled crane operator. I worry that I might drop a heavy material on a worker below. I am a skilled electrician. I hope I can keep generators running 24-7 to keep marine ship lit. I am a tanker boat. I try to deliver fuel to Liberty ships on time. I am a tugboat captain. I hear my ship's engine working hard to pull Liberty ships in and out of the bay to safety. If you
Kid should. Ah, oh, got it. Are there? Oh. It, oh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, wait. <laughs> At the. T I keep missing. I forgot. <laughs> what I really in about your community? I forgot. My pager oh. for the. Oh, man, I forgot to record. Biggest number in the world. Hi. Dude, they're gonna. Wait, are you recording? It's 2,000 miles I roam 